Hello, Trent Jesse here. In this uh, video tutorial, I'll be teaching you about the WordPress SEO by Yoast XML sitemaps. An XML sitemap is uh, really important to have for search engines. So when a search engine robot comes along and scavengers, scavenges your site and processes information, it, uh, it reads it easier. And so that's what I'll be showing you. It's very helpful and powerful for your SEO purposes your search engine optimization efforts with uh, getting your site content ranked in the search engine so people can find it and get you traffic. So it's important to have. So once you install the SEO by Yoast plugin, then you come here underneath the XML sitemaps section. And for the very first time, all you have to do is just scroll down and click on Save Settings and then the system will automatically generate the uh, sitemaps for you. And so once you do that, then you can scroll up and click on XML sitemap. And this is what it looks like afterwards. It's nothing really fancy, but um, once again, it just makes it easier for the search engines to process information and return it to the search engine so people can find it. So you'll notice that there were five different XML sitemaps that were created. One for my posts and pages and then categories, and the post tags and then the authors. And so, like for example, if I click on this XML sitemap for my posts, it'll list out all of the blog posts that I have already created for my website. And then over here, it just uh, gives the search engine um, priority on um, processing this information so you don't really have to be too worried about all this stuff over here but just wanted to show you what this looks like it's, again, it's nothing really fancy and fun to look at but um, it's important to have for your SEO purposes and um, so once you install that it's a pretty simple process just uh, scroll down click on save settings and you're ready to rock and roll